Okay, so I'm digging into the monitor a little bit here, and apparently I did it wrong. Somehow, we're supposed to separate the front first. I'm not sure. And then the back piece is supposed to stay on this silver piece because there's actually screws coming up through this, the back silver piece and screw into the back piece. And I just broke it off. I was getting irritated with it. You can see I really mangled it up. I wanted to get on film how these connectors were laid out since they're a mirror of each other. And I have to get this plate off to work on it. And there was just some screws around it that were holding it on. So we'll get those off there and the plate off and see what the power, power supply caps looks like. Okay, so cover's off and I see nothing wrong with the caps. They all look perfectly fine. And if I remember right from the video, the noise was coming from this side. And it looks like these would be cold cathode connections, cold cathode tube connections over here. The only thing really over here would be the digital board and the speaker. And I remember this is the side that was a little dim. So I might need to tear into it further just to see what's up. Okay, so yes, this front bezel does unclick fairly easily. You get a screwdriver under it and go around between these two pieces and it'll unsnap and come off. Okay, I separated a bunch of the frame from the actual LCD. This is the LCD. You see it's super thin. And the PCB was just kind of sticky taped to the back of this. Now this is the interesting part. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's kind of yellowed on this side. So either it's dirty or it's somehow had a chemical reaction or whatever I might try to flip it in for end or I don't know hopefully it'll just clean off or maybe I can just remove them all together I'm not real sure but it's definitely something to do with this diffuser panel it's definitely yellowed somehow on that side maybe we'll get a better view from up top of what I'm looking at here Let's see if I can get the light just right Looks like the top diffuser panel. And look how I just pull that away. That thing has yellowed quite a bit. I mean, this down here looks perfectly white, but as soon as I put that on there, you can tell. Flip it over. You can see it goes to this side, so it's not underneath. It's not showing something underneath. It's showing it's this particular piece. And I'm getting a ton of fingerprints on it too. <laughs> See there is one more diffuser panel there. It looks like more like a glass piece under it. Looks like these two pieces are fine. This is troubling though, because I don't. I mean, if it's yellowed, I'm not sure there's much hope of de yellowing it. I don't think just cleaning that is going to do anything for me. And it's got like a texture to it too. So it might be a polarization thing. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could try without it. It's worth a shot. I'm, I'm definitely not going to find just this piece. I don't know. Which I had pieces like this in those rear projection TVs, sort of. But I don't know that they're anything like this. I mean, this gives a really weird look. I'm not sure if that's going to show up on camera, but it does some really weird stuff looking through it. Yeah. I'm not 
sure where to go from here. I'd like to get it going and use it, but uh, I mean, it was just obviously yellowed on this side. It was awful. But I do know how to take it apart and put it back together now, so it's not like I couldn't just go ahead and leave this piece out and try it and see if it looks just, you know, god awful without it. <laughs> really don't have much choice here. Just don't think that's going to clean off. Oh, there is two. So, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't think that's... It's not like a Fresnel. <laughs> it's just weird. Very interesting. I don't know, I'll run some soap and water over it. Give it a look-see, see if it looks any better. It does look like it could be swapped end for end as far as the cutouts go. Nope. No, I'm wrong. There's these tiny little tabs on the ends that will keep it from fitting in there perfectly. If I try to do this. up so it shouldn't be hard to figure out how to get it back in there. Assuming it will clean or that just doesn't look like something's going to clean off. It looks like sun fade. You know what I mean? It looks like what plastic does whenever you put it in the sun for long periods of time. Maybe the sun was hitting this part of the monitor all day every day for a long time. Who knows? But I still can't complain for free. So, a couple options, leave it out, try to clean it, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Well, I just tried to clean it with some um, simple green, and you can see I didn't, really didn't do much for it at all. I guess the other option is to try to retro ride it. Uh, if anybody's seen my videos on my other channel, Game Tech US, about retro riding, it's de yellowing plastic that's been in the sun um, by way of hitting with more sunlight but uh, bathing it in hydrogen peroxide and a dash of a certain kind of laundry detergent, like an oxy type detergent, and that'll actually de yellow it. It's pretty cool, but I'm not sure if I have, I'm not sure if my fish tank would fit this whole piece in there properly. I mean, it's worth a shot and I do have some sunny days coming up and I definitely can tell that it's got ridges going long ways so it's definitely got a lens effect to it so I'm thinking if I didn't put it in there it would definitely I don't know maybe ruin the contrast ratio or who knows what but I'm gonna have to do something with it okay so it's sort of back together and the noise is coming from right here which I would think be towards the end of the tube since our connectors were down here remember the tubes ran across the top and bottom here and the picture looks okay although I would say in person it looks darker than it should Probably don't have the right resolution on either. No, I don't. I think I put it back down for my other monitor. Yeah. So 
I've got it on 128960 and it's it's okay. I don't know, there's just something about it, like maybe it's lost some brightness because that lens is now, I mean it looks fantastic on the camera and the noise from that, C, that CCFL or whatever you want to call it is probably not good <laughs> so I guess I could even just sell the LCD out of the screen itself for parts and just part the whole thing out but we make quite a bit of money yet but yeah I don't want to listen to that and I don't really want to replace that lens and a CCFL on this cam on this uh, TV although if I found one with a cracked LCD on it then it would be an easy swap I might do that especially since now I know how to take it apart and uh, not destroy the outer casing like I did with well, I guess you can see it right there with that piece right there. Getting all mangled up, trying to get it apart. So, I don't know. We'll return to this later.